Hi guys, Matos here. Welcome back for a new video. Before I go further into the video, don't hesitate to just like, comment, share, or even subscribe. It always helps and it push the video further into the algorithm. So in today's video, we'll discuss about VAC as an anti-cheat. Mainly because I saw some stuff happening who lead me to think that we could have a possible update of the anti-cheat in the next few months. And it got me questioning of why did they never went for a kernel level anti-cheat. For the people who don't know, kernel level anti-cheat is basically the whole opposite of VAG, of VAG as it currently is. Kernel anti-cheat are a, an anti-cheat with so deep into the computer that it can scan really a lot of stuff on your computer to go and look up for cheats. So it's technically really good and so far, even if some people still manage to bypass them because they know how they work, it's still a really good anti-cheat. But why Valve never went for those? If they are that good, why Valve always decided to stick with an anti-cheat who is basically really on the surface level of the scanning area? Well, the answer to that is fairly simple. Valve have a policy to want a game to be played by as many people as possible. In the case of TF2, for example, they want it to be played by the guy who will put 5,000 in his computer, but also by the guy who will only be able to put, let's say, 100 or 200 euros into his computer. And with that, they don't want an anti-cheat who will ask too much on the laptop or on the computer spec. And that's why they don't go for a kernel anti-cheat. But what about you guys? What do you think? What if Valve was implementing a kernel anti-cheat in TF2? Will you guys still play it? Deep size the fact that it can scan very deeply into your computer? Do you think it would be a good idea or overall will you just quit TF2 if they were doing that?